so you know we're interested in how proteins make life and especially on how proteins get modified in both regulation and aging. We're interested in how the 20 amino acids that make up a protein have to get phosphorylated, ubiquinated, methylated, and acetylated, and how all those modifications dress up the protein and make them work. And we're interested in how you can regulate proteins in that way and also how these modifications may help us deal with the aging process. In the aging process, all of our beautiful molecules that we make um, start degrading. And they start degrading with time spans of not decades, but of hours and minutes. So we have to either get rid of the old proteins or repair the old proteins. And we've discovered some enzymes that actually can come along and look at a polypeptide. If the amino acid's fine, they leave it alone. If it's a problem, they'll take it, and in some cases can actually repair it and bring it back. So it's those two classes of uh, proteins we're very interested in. The big picture, you know, humans are made up of 19,000 gene products. We know what maybe a fraction of those are doing, and the excitement is what the rest of them are doing. This is a pretty special award for me. Um, in the first place, I knew about the award because my neighbor across the hall is Paul Boyer. And he won this award in 1989, and he has a plaque for it. Okay, I always looked at the plaque for it in his office. And in fact, in my talk, I'll, I'll show a picture of that plaque. And it was always interesting because, you know, he discovered the last of the 20 canonical amino acids, threonine. And, you know, this wasn't that long ago. And so it, it always taught me how fast we've come. And, and the thing I didn't know about the award was that it was both for research and mentorship. And that has made it completely sweet because um, I was nominated by three of my um, former students. And I've made a slide for the presentation where I put the pictures of all the people that have worked it with me over the last 40 years at UCLA. And it just sort of broke my heart just remembering these people. And my career has been a long one, but it seems also that I've just arrived. And so the, you know, being recognized for the mentorship was actually very important, as well as for the science. So it's sort of a double blessing.